Welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So today we are going to discuss about OF test that is oxidation fermentation test. Okay, already a video is uploaded um, regarding difference between oxidation and fermentation. Okay, so today we are just going to focus on a biochemical test that is OF or oxidation fermentation test. Okay. So the aim of uh, this test is to differentiate microorganisms based on the ability to oxidize or ferment specific carbohydrate. Okay, so the ability differs from uh, microorganism to microorganism. Okay, it varies. So it is or this method can be used to differentiate between uh, any two given cultures. Okay, so that's the reason we use this test. Now the principle. So carbohydrates, that means mainly the sugars, they are organic molecules that contains carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, right? We know that. Now organisms, they use carbohydrates differently depending upon their enzyme system. Okay. So the pattern of fermentation is characterized by, sorry, is, uh, sorry, the pattern of fermentation is characteristic of certain species, genera or a group of organism. Okay, so for this reason, this property has been uh, extensively used as a method for biochemical differentiation. Now, glucose, after entering a cell, it can be metabol uh, sorry, catabolized either aerobic aerobically, that means it uh, releases energy in which molecular oxygen can serve as final electron acceptor, okay, indicating oxidative metabolism or anaerobically in which inorganic ions other than oxygen like NO3 or SO3 minus can serve as the final electron acceptor indicating fermentative metabolism okay where less energy is released now both aerobic and anaerobic pathway and some uh, and some organisms they lack the ability to oxidize glucose by either okay so there are different uh, examples that we know that some of the organisms are obligate aerobes and some are obligate anaerobes while some are facultatively anaerobes that means they can also survive in environment where oxygen is not present and thus they can follow the fermentative pathway okay the metabolic end product of carbohydrate fermentation can be either organic acids like lactic acid formic acid or acetic acid or organic acid and gas carbon dioxide and hydrogen okay so that depends uh, upon the carbohydrate or type of fermentation uh, the organism follows okay an oxidation fermentation test is used to determine whether the organism uses carbohydrate substrate to produce acid byproducts okay so a non fermentative bacteria are routinely test for their ability to produce acid okay so now here we are looking as an indicator we are looking for acid production as a byproduct okay so some non-fermentative bacteria they are tested for their ability to produce acid from six carbohydrates that is mainly glucose xylose mannitol lactose sucrose and maltose okay rapidly uh, sorry widely used uh, six carbohydrates now whether an organism is oxidative or fermentative can be determined by using U Lifson's medium okay commonly it is also known as OF medium it contains tryptone and bromothymol blue as an indicator now two tubes are required for interpretation of this test both are inoculated and from two tubes one tube is overlaid with mineral oil why to produce anaerobic environment okay and one tube is not laid with the mineral oil so that will be uh, giving aerobic environment to the culture okay now the growth of microorganisms in this medium is either by utilizing tryptone which results in alkaline reaction and thus dark blue color or by utilizing glucose which results in production of acid turning bromothymol blue to yellow now this is very important point don't get confused here the growth of microorganism in this medium is either by utilizing tryptone okay now we have seen that the hue lipson media or of media contains tryptone and the bromothymol blue so 
the organism can utilize tryptone uh, which will result in alkaline reaction and there will be a dark blue color formation or by just utilizing glucose which results in production of acid now this is acidic so the bromothymol blue will change the color to yellow and if it utilizes tryptone then there will be a dark color formation only there will be no color change as such it is the al uh, alkaline reaction now production of acid in the overlaid tube that means in case of anaerobic environment and in open tube results in a color change and is an indication of fermentation okay so acid production can be seen in both aerobic that is open tube and overlaid tube that is anaerobic okay in both cases you can see color change that is yellow color as acid is produced now acid production in open tube and color change is the result of oxidation okay now if you don't know the composition of u lipson's medium then this is the composition and these are my references which i used to make this video so you can go through those uh, articles now the procedure so as we have seen in previous slides we need to inoculate two tubes of of medium with organism by stab stabbing with a straight wire okay so um, straight wire is one which does not have the loop on its one end okay uh, just a straight needle is used for stabbing the culture now after inoculating you pour liquid paraffin or a mineral oil over the medium to form a layer about 1 cm in depth in one of the tube just to produce an aerobic environment now you incubate the tubes at 35 to 37 degrees celsius for 24 to 48 hours okay then you examine both the open tube and the close or the one which is overlaid with the oil okay for the color change and after that you interpret now as we seen in the previous slide that in case of acid production in open tube it is oxidation okay now acid production is indicated by color change from dark blue to yellow of the bromothymol blue so oxidative is the result we, we write when we see yellow coloration in open tube only if you see yellow coloration in both open and closed tube then it is fermentative okay so this is the um, diagrammatic representation you can refer to now there are some non saccharolytic bacteria now what are those so they have no ability to use carbohydrate in the medium okay so those are termed as non saccharolytic that means they cannot use the carbohydrate that is present in the medium okay so here you can see o stands for the first tube which is not overlaid with the paraffin oil and it is the aerobic tube and the other one which is overlaid with the um, paraffin oil is the anaerobic tube so that stands for f now you interpret results as there is no color change so o negative f negative that means no oxidation no fermentation in case of second picture you can see it is written as fermentative why because both the tubes are showing color change that is yellow acid production and the example is enterobacteria c all the uh, organisms from enterobacteria c family they mostly show fermentative uh, result then pseudomonas shows oxidative so here you can see only the tube uh, which is having aerobic environment is showing color change and the fermentative tube or the anaerobic tube is not showing any color change okay so you can see here acid in aerobic tube yellow color and anaerobic tube shows green then it is oxidative this one then aerobic tube yellow anaerobic tube also yellow shows fermentative and when both the tubes are uh, blue to green in color that means the color of bromothymol blue then the result is as non saccharolytic or you can write is uh, write as uh, 
no for oxidation and no for fermentation okay so the glucose is not metabolized the organism it does not have the ability to use that particular carbohydrate okay so this was all about of test so i hope the concept is clear now so thank you for watching my video do like my video do share my video with your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you